Uh, my name's Kate Clay and I am the Deputy Service Manager for Prison Health for Shropshire and I'm also the clinical lead. I took my first job in prison health in April 1997. Before I came into prisons I've worked uh, in a variety of different acute settings. I've worked in elderly medicine, um, I've done some orthopaedic nursing, um, worked around hospitals so it was all hospital based. Well interestingly I chose working in a prison because I saw a job advert um, and I it was a female prison, Jake Court prison, and um, my husband was a prison officer, and still is. Um, and I mentioned about prison health, I didn't know anything about prison health. Um, and he said, that would be a job you'd be really interested in, you really love it. And I um, thought, no, I don't think I would really love it, actually. It sounds a bit strange, I'm not so used to what's there. So he said, we'll go along to the interview and see what you think. I went along, had a chat, got the job, surprisingly, um, and that was that, really. I haven't looked back since. I think I expected the prison to be the way that everybody sees prisons who doesn't work in one, and that's the usual porridge, prisoner cell block H type uh, format. Um, but a female prison particularly, which is where I started my career, I had absolutely no idea. Of course, the only thing I'd ever seen was prisoner cell block H, and I thought it can't possibly be as bad as that. And it wasn't as bad as that, which was, which was good. But no, I, I, I fully expected prisons to be banging doors shut, locking gates, um, very hostile relationships between prisoners and staff. Yeah, after the first day, I thought this is something I really want to do. And it was as quick as that, really. Um, I spent the first day uh, meeting a lot of women who were in prison. And it wasn't at all the way I expected. It wasn't at all the hostile atmosphere that I expected. I looked at all the different things that were available, the training that was available to me, the services I could provide. And I thought even after the first day, yes, I'm definitely going to give this a go. For me, a rewarding day at work would be um, I arrive, lots of um, contact with patients um, in a variety of different ways. There might be clinical contact, there might be chatting, um, I might get involved with the patient's relatives. Um, lots of joint working with other groups within the prison, so multidisciplinary working. I have a day where I have less than 50 emails, it's a good day. Um, and really where I go home at the end of the day and feel like I've accomplished something, um, particularly for a patient, that's a good day for me. I really made a difference. There's a particular patient actually that stands out in my mind, um, and it was a young man that I worked with actually, um, and he'd got a long history of self-harming behaviour, very self-destructive behaviours, um, really very difficult to engage with, um, didn't find anything in prison to be to his liking at all, didn't want to get on with anybody. Um, but his offence was quite a nasty offence. Um, it was very difficult to see what we were going to do to help him from a health perspective. Um, and gradually over time, we managed to engage with him in small ways, um, helped him to achieve some small goals. Um, things improved for him, and as things improved, it became that snowball effect. Um, and eventually, it uh, was that he um, ended up going home, volunteering for a charity, um, had a good discharge home, um, helped other young men who'd been released from custody, and really became, I suppose, a valuable member of society. And I like to think that a lot of, of what helped to change him and make him different was the healthcare input that he got from the team. And it wasn't just me, it was the whole team, but we all helped to contribute staff on the mental health side, staff that worked with him in some of his behaviours, staff that helped him to learn alternatives to self-harming, we helped him to get more physically fit because he was quite overweight, so we helped him with his physical fit. Every day is a challenge, every day throws up its challenges. You're working in a very busy, fast-paced environment, every day brings something new, there are often you've got plans for a day and they have to be changed at very short notice because of the way that the prison works, and sometimes you do get to the end of the day and you have to sit down and really gather your thoughts because it's been a very busy day. The biggest myth about working in prison, I think, is that you're going to get assaulted a lot. That's uh, what I had actually some friends and family who were quite concerned about that when I first came into the service, and uh, it does happen. Um, but I'm happy to say that in the 13 years I've been working there, I've never been assaulted, which is more than I can say for uh, working in hospital, where mm. it happens quite regularly. You're actually very safe working in a prison. You have people around you who know exactly what to do, and you know exactly what to do. You're in a very controlled environment, and everything that's done is done for your safety. So, yeah, I guess that's the biggest myth good communication skills and find a way in to be able to relate to lots of different types of people and obviously depending on which kind of prison you work in and that might be young people, that might be people under 16, you might be working with females, you might be working with older people, there's lots of different kinds of people in a prison and you have to be able to find some way to talk to all of them.
absolutely go for it. And definitely the Marmite analogy that we've used before is so true. It's one of those things you will either absolutely love it or it won't be for you and that's fine. But I think if you absolutely love it, you'll end up like me and working in, in offender health for a long time. Um, but it's definitely something that you should consider. If you like working with a wide variety of people, if you like different challenges every day, if you like having to know a lot of different things and you like to get something stimulating in your job every day, then prison health is definitely for you. When I started, certainly um, in my nursing career as a student, nobody ever mentioned prison health. It just wasn't something I ever even thought about. It was very hospital based or it was community based. And even in training, it was hospital or community, your two options. And had I not seen that advert on that day and thought about applying, I would never have had this experience and I probably wouldn't have had such a fulfilling nursing career. So I would say the opportunity for us to tell people about working in this environment is a really positive one because there will be people who will find it's, it really is the area of work that